Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mandy the Handmade Homeschooler and if it is your first time here, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can make sure that you get all the updates for when I make brand new videos on the channel. So today we're going to be going over um, the binders for my kids and basically how I empty them out on Sundays and fill them for Monday. So I do this once a week and I get a lot of questions on the other two binder videos that I made on how I made the videos and how I made my binders and how I made my teacher binder. So if you wanna see those, the description box has all of the links for you and you guys can go and check those out. So the first thing that I do during the week is I check the master books binder that I created and in here because you guys know that my schedule is in here with all of the lesson plans I take a look and see what we're doing for the upcoming week and I only do one week at a time remember so we are going into week five on Monday so I know that the papers that I need to tear out will be listed for week five so I check on Monday what the page number is and on Friday and I rip out the, all of those pages make sense so for language lessons for a living education because that's the first subject inside my child's binder I'm going to show you guys how I do this I check my teacher binder right here and it says pages 58 through 64 so I take my son's binders so this is his and we turn here and I already went ahead and did this just to show you but his pages for last week were right here I just took these out and I slid these right in right in the pocket so now on this too these are already hole punched so I don't have to worry about that my only gripe with a spelling you see is that they're not already hole punched so I have to remember to drag my hole punch to the table and today I forgot to do that for the video so I apologize but I will do the same thing for spelling you see right here so let's try that again for America's story so here are his pages for week four and I'm just gonna take those put them off to the side and keep and discard what I need to and then I'm going to grab the teacher book where all of the worksheets are and then just see what I need for that week. So in my lesson plan book, I turn to week five here. So he is going to be doing pages 47 through 54, it looks like. So I'm just gonna take out those pages. Yep, 47 through 54, okay. So that's this set right here. All right, so then I just slide those right in. Okay, so his next subject is science. So I'm taking out his science papers here. And then I just put this off to the side and I just go right down the line. I mean, it is, it could not be any simpler. This really takes, with even with two kids, seriously, this takes maybe 10 minutes tops. And then I just see what else he needs for you know any enrichment activities or anything like that so week five we're using page 35 through 38 so that's two pages and I've heard that some people have trouble ripping these out I really haven't as you can see I mean I haven't had any trouble taking these out at all okay and then that's all he's got for that one other than his um, elementary apologetics which we're not in the same week for that one so I will do that one a little bit later and he has oops sorry I didn't mean to bump that um, we have we do the um, a reason for handwriting the kids just like this one that's why I keep it so we're gonna go into lesson five And then I just pull that out and pop it right into the front pocket here. So he knows by now we're in week, we're, we just finished week four. So he knows pretty much where all of his papers are at any given time. So really that is how easy this is. And as you can see, I just did one, two, three, four, 
five subjects here and all I have to do at the end is just grab my hole puncher and do these last two ones right here and that's it. I thought I had my hole punch over here and I don't, sorry guys. So I'm gonna do the same thing for these. So he's gonna be in week five. So here's 5A. So all the way through 5E. So here is spelling you see. So here's week five for spelling you see. And then wordly wise. And I already took those out. So I just have to hole punch those and put those in his folder. So it really is that easy. And what I meant with spelling you see is I have to keep um, the last page of 5E because 6A is on the back. So all I do with that is I just, at the end of the week on Fridays, I just keep this and I put it in the front pocket usually. And that's it. So 5A is actually already still in there and all I have to do is take that out and just pop it right in. So that is how easy that is. And really guys, five minutes is all it takes. I mean, this video right here is like six minutes long and I'm already finished. <laughs> and the only reason it took me a little bit longer was just because I was yakking at y'all. So super easy, super simple, and really five minutes can save you so much stress and so much running back and forth between um, your bookcase and you know, your table or wherever you guys homeschool. And I think that is one of the things that I like the most is I'm not constantly running back and forth looking for page numbers on all of that. They just turn to the next page and everything is there for the entire week. Now, also my kids have said that they really, really enjoy this because they get, they feel like they're in control of their stuff. Yes, I'm filling it because they're in the teacher books. I'm, I fill it at the beginning of the week, but they feel like they're in charge and in control of their own binders. So it kind of gives them something that is their own, which is great and they love that. So if you are on the fence uh, on making one of these, I know, <laughs> I know a lot of people are so afraid to rip the pages out. But one thing that my kids did mention too is that it makes it a lot easier for them to write on the worksheets when they're ripped out of the out of the um, out of the actual workbooks because by the time they get to the middle it kind of bows up on them <clears throat> and my kids have said that it drives them crazy to try to write on the table with everything in the book itself and I also will mention too if there is a test for that week what I do just to make my life a little bit easier is I go ahead and I take the test out of the teacher guide and I put it in, um, my dividers have pockets, you see, like this. I will put the test, which is actually what this is, in here so I have it ready to go and I'm not running around wondering, oh my gosh, where is that test? <laughs> or where is the book? I know exactly where it's at and I don't have any problems finding it because the test keys are all already in here as you guys have seen in the other video as well. So five minutes saves me a lot of hair pulling and a lot of running around during the week. So my master books binder is <laughs> still my favorite thing that I did this year. Yes, I ripped the pages out. No, I don't have any regrets. Best thing I ever did. I wish I would have done it a long time ago. So if you're on the fence, check out my other videos in the description box where I show you exactly how I put these together so you guys can see um, more of an in-depth view of the actual binders themselves. So I hope that helps you guys. If you guys have any questions, pop them down below. I'll try to get to them and answer your questions as I go along. And I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.